Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday morning of our long Memorial Day weekend here. Hope you all so far having a safe and enjoyable time. <laughs> the weather's cooperating for some of the outdoor events y'all are trying to do with family and friends and all. Before I start today, a couple of quick housekeeping items. Uh, first off, wanted to congratulate Constantine over at Letters to King for uh, hitting 100,000 subscribers. That's one hell of an accomplishment in a very short time for you, uh, but definitely well earned. I mean, daily updates of what's going on in Russia and enlightening as many people as will listen to what life is like there is certainly something you should be very proud of. So congratulations, my friend. Second off, uh, tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern, in case you all are interested, uh, Eric over at Tradcat Night is hosting a podca podcast. It's something that I do a monthly show with him. Uh, but tonight's a little different. He's going to have a three-hour live call-in show. Uh, I will be one of the participants along with Celeste Solem, uh, Stefan Verstappen, Morgan Rogue from Rogue Preparedness, uh, and Jason Charles from Angry Prepper. We will all be there taking calls for three hours. <laughs> that ought to be fun uh, for everybody uh, with any questions you have. And considering between all of us, we all have different backgrounds, different areas of expertise, whatever it is, it ought to be a good time. And <clears throat> like I said, I've been doing Eric's show with him for oh, probably about a year and a half now. So uh, it's not like this will be a new thing. All right. So let's get into today. And again, this is another one of watch Europe because what happens there eventually winds up happening here. Now this one, a little different maybe, but still something to concern ourselves with because how are we going to assist? And that makes that could be very difficult in this one. You remember the other day when I was telling you about uh, cities in France now passing out food stamps to all sorts of people because there's a lack of food. Well, France now has federally limited water usage for the country because of a drought that France is going through. All right. 24 of the 96 as they call them departments, we call them provinces or counties or something like that in France, have now imposed water limits. And I mean, they're, some of them are just simple telling people to, hey, save water. And others are requiring 50% 50, 50 less watering for agriculture. Then there, you know, then there's some for banning washing cars, watering gardens, no filling swimming pools, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So you think about your water storage capacity. A lot of this country right now, <laughs> I mean, who knows, grand solar minimum. A lot of this country right now is in a drought, and then we have a lot of this country that's flooding. Okay. So, if, you know, unfortunately, we can't divert the weather somewhere. Well, we can, but we just don't. Uh, you know, but moving that water around. But put this in a scenario. You now have a country that has declared a water emergency. Water is needed for everything. Okay? I mean, and again, I said before, you kill diesel fuel, you kill an economy instantly. You kill water, you know, if there's no water... You've just destroyed life because everything needs water. Your plants, your vegetables, the farmers. I mean, farmers being told to water 50% less. Hmm. What happens when you water your garden 50% less? You water your house plants 50% less. Guess what happens? They go, you know, and die. All right. Well, when that starts hitting the food supply, that's a problem. Now, let's look at some other things, all right? With a lack of water, that would also mean lack of water for the livestock, 
Okay, so now not only your fruits and vegetables, but now, you know, there's not going to be as much meat on the table. Why? Because if you only have so much water, you can only raise so many cows. You can only raise so many pigs, chickens, whatever you do. Ostrich, I don't know, you know, whatever you want to raise. You know, think of the vineyards in, Flo in France. Yeah, you like your vino? Okay. Expect that to get a lot more expensive this year. Because it's going to be short. You know, then you think about simple stuff. I'm not worried about washing cars in that case, all right? But I've talked about this before. Bathing. Hygiene is huge. You know, if you, if you don't stay clean, that's how you get disease. That's how you attract unwanted pests. Let's just put it that way. So... When you get into a situation like this, what happens when this starts hitting the U.S.? You know, we look at the we the western half of the United States under a drought. We look at the far southeast, okay, drought conditions. And that makes it very difficult to maintain life. What help is out there? You know. Water just can't be created. So you have to figure out different ways in which you can get it. I mean, I've told you what I do. I mean, I've got backups to backups to backups to my water. All right, I have to be, you know, because storing cases of bottled water is not going to be a solution. I mean, it's, it's again, it's part, it's just like green energy. You know, it's something you can do, but you need more than just one. You know, we're preppers. We don't put all our eggs in one basket. You know, I showed you guys the deal on how to get water from a dehumidifier or whatever. Okay, some people say, oh, you don't want to drink that. What about Legionnaire's disease? I understand where you're coming from. Okay, that's why I run it through filter and everything like that. But if anything, you can use that to water your garden. You know, you can use that to wash dishes. So... You know, there's many uses of the water that you get. But please, when you're starting to see situations like this, and this plays right into the hands of the powers that be about, oh, gee, depopulation. You know, water is life. Remember that. Without water, people, animals, plants, nothing exists. You have to come up with something in regards to water sources. I know I harp on this subject, but, every, you know, what's the old saying in sales? You, once you tell somebody seven times, they'll finally listen. Okay. Do something about your water. Get an IBC tote and fill it with some water. Uh, rain, bar rain barrels. Okay. Even if it's not raining, you know, you can still use it for storage. Get the barrels while you can, because again, you know, start putting things together. When there is no diesel fuel, there's no delivery of trucks to Home Depot, Tractor Supply, wherever you shop, that means you don't get the rain barrels. Get them now while you can. Even if it's not raining now, it's going to rain sometime. Get it while you can. Maybe you're going through your bottled water now and it rains in two weeks and you get two inches of rain. Wonderful. That's enough to fill a 55-gallon drum of water. So, Figure this out, guys, because when you're starting to see countries issue things like that, you know, water rationing, what's next? Or better yet, where's next? Have a good Sunday. Pimple out.